Hello, welcome back to some uh, House of a Thousand Doors, Palm of Zoroaster, Zoroastus, Zoroaster. <laughs> Hidden object game. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sarah. Hopefully, it behaves itself now. I don't know. I can't tell. I think about after an hour, it starts to break. Oh, oh no, it's misbehaving itself again. Oh no. I think tonight is not my night for streaming. It is not my night for streaming. Unfortunately. Quality, quality is not going to be too good, but it's all right. It's a, it's a hidden object game. I'm not going to expect a, a lot. It's already dropping frames just as I'm starting to play this. Why, why is it doing this right now? Uh, all right, so it's gonna look kind of kind of lousy. Oh, we've read that. Let's go have a look here. What are chimes is missing? That's not it. I thought we can like make one with a bamboo stick, but I'm wrong. Whoa, what's up? Oh, all these monks are dead. No, they got like arrows in them. I think they were defending the temple, perhaps. Yeah, it's so, like all, all the arrows. I didn't quite realize it the first time I played it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they died defending this place. Need a pouch to carry them. All right. How's the? Hopefully, it doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, it still looks reasonable. Let me let me have a look at my stream. Might have to turn it. Oh, I can't even change the um. It might look really bad. Hang on. I'm just gonna have a look at myself. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks kind of okay. It is. It is a little bit bur blurry. Unfortunately. If it looks good, that's good. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got it set to 60 frames, which I shouldn't at this bit rate. It's such a low bit rate. Not really recommended. What's going on? All right, hopefully. Dragon's a clue. What the keys look like. That's one of them. I wonder if it makes a difference which one we put it on.
Nope. How can I get it? What cute animal? Oh, I got an idea. There we go. Aww. Thanks, buddy. I should have set it at 30 frames. I can't change that now. Unchange the bitrate. Sorry. All the, I'm talking about all the boring stuff. Looks like this. Something in its paw. What? Why haven't thieves stolen it? Was holding something in its paw. Okay, because we gotta put something there. Is that it? Alright. Keep looking around. That's one area. Look at these eclectic items. Oh, hold up. Oh, no. What a, what a change of pace from Spider-Man to this, which is good. Something, something ch chilled out rather than fighting that, <laughs> chasing vehicles around, me spamming the wrong keys. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Three out of 46. Sweet. We don't have a key, do we? Is that a thing that we have? Nope. Rope matches tusk trap pot. Oh, there's more stuff in here now. We're back to this. How can I catch the fish? It, it is ultimately a hidden object game. <laughs> film projector. Why did I think <laughs> the film goes into the film, uh, the, the fishbowl? I was wrong. It goes in the film projector. What am I thinking? That is bad. You can tell that uh, it's that time of the night where my uh, mental faculties have uh, kind of uh, worn away. I think with the if they repeat the same area, it makes it it's supposed to make it somewhat easier to look for things because you've seen it the first time. But I don't know. Maybe some things are jumbled about. Maybe. I 
I want to pick up uh, Life is Strange True Colors, but I haven't even finished the, I haven't even started the second game yet. So I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea. Very, very tempting. There we go. Fume projector. Octopus. I thought I saw an octopus before. Did I? Did I see one? Bicycle horn. Did I see an anchor? Oh. No, really? No! Might as well win it's on sale. Good point. No, that poor fish! What? That is... That's horrible. We hooked it up. And then it's dead. <laughs> I thought we were gonna like put it in, I don't know, a carry case with water, not carry case, a bag with water in it at least. Even that, it's not always the best idea. Wow. Main character, I forgot your name. That's, uh, that's harsh. But then again, <laughs> it's part of the hidden object, so I should be blaming the developers for doing that. That is sad. I know I picked up quite a few things already um, on sale. Very tempting to pick up Life is Strange. I need to play the second one. But I want to get through a whole bunch of other uh, adventure games as well. Like, you know, the, the narrative story based ones, not the action ones. Like, I've got a few of them. I've got quite a few. Like Detroit, what is it? Become Human? Whatever it's called. And there's another one I have. It's another... I think it's from the people who also made Life is Strange. I forgot what it's called. Oh yeah? You played it? Yeah, I've got that sitting in my library and I haven't touched it yet. You watched it? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's, um... It looks interesting. I played Beyond Two Souls. I like that one. I'm just worried about the quick time events, that's all. That's why in Spider-Man, you notice I'm so bad at it. I turn off the quick time events, but... You still have to do some of them. But yeah, like... Games like Beyond Two Souls, I think Detroit Become Human is quite a bit of, oh, there's the octopus. Um, quite a bit of quick time events, which I'm scared of, scared of. Um, I prefer more traditional point and, well, somewhat traditional, but if, if you can, if they can make it like the 3D style, I would, I would play it. But yeah, but Detroit is intriguing. Um the story and stuff like that. Sorry. So I want to play it. I'm just kind of scared. Mm. What other ones have I got? I've got, Oh yeah, I mentioned I've got Judgment. I want to play that as well. Portrait. That's Portrait. Hat. Uh, was that alarm clock? There's alarm clock. Chisel. I might pick up another um, hidden object game. We'll see. Another hidden object game or Life is Strange um, True Colors. That one, I, I think. True Colors looks 
more enticing than Life is Strange 2. I don't know why. I want to get the Deluxe Edition. Supposedly, there's like an extra chapter in it. Though, I've read that it's not that good, but... I'll, I'll play it. If I, if I can get to it. Detective D. That sounds familiar. Is that a side-scroller one? That's a side-scroller one, isn't it? And um, he goes around investigating stuff. Am I... Let me have a quick look at that. Let me have a quick look. Sounds familiar. The Silk Rose Murder, is that it? Yeah. Oh, this is on my list. Interesting. Yeah, it's on my list. I I've forgotten about that. It does look intriguing. I do have quite a lot of point and click games, quite a few of them. Um, I used to play quite a bit of them when I was younger, as well as when I was like streaming in my early days. I want to be, able, I want to get back to them. Like I did at one point started playing the first Monkey Island. I never finished it. A replay and I did play it when I was a kid but yeah detective D is intriguing but I think I don't know very tempting it will be at the bottom of my list to play though unfortunately because I have to get through a whole heap of other ones as my I feel like my ISP has permanently locked me on 3,000 uh, KBPS for my bitrate. I'm annoyed by that. Tempting. It's very tempting, Sarah. Um, oh, there was another one. It's like a bunch of stick men and they're in a cowboy world, western world. It's a bit of a co comedy bit of an RPG. I started playing that. I never got far in it. I think I got stuck. I think the um, RPG part <laughs> slowed me down. They released a second game as well. Um, like a, it's more of a, a cosmic horror Cthulhu-esque comedy type thing. I don't know if you've heard of it. Like, what is it? Something West. The the one that I have, West of Loathing. That's it. Yeah, you might like that one. It's quite s simplistic, but it's funny. Look at me. I'm talking about other games while I'm playing this. Ah, well, this is this is one of those games where I get to, you know, <laughs> chill out. Not have to worry too much. And talk about other things. Talk about other games. But yes, I'm, I'm tempted to get Detective D as well. Tweezers. I don't, I don't mind talking about other stuff. I think uh, some people might get... I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm cool with it. Oh, Dave the Diver. That's on my list as well. Is that like an adventure sort of game? Like I put that on my list. I've forgotten what it's about now. I've got so many things on my list. But it looked really good. I wasn't quite sure what it's about. It just it just grabbed my attention. I'm like that with games. If something grabs my attention, I just add it on my list. And I try not to read too much about it. But you can tell me. 
It's like a time management kind of explore game. Oh, okay. Time management is in like, because he has to do diving and stuff like that. And you got to watch out for his oxygen. Is it in, in that way? Anchor. Loot. Huh? Does anchor? Wait, wait, wait. Anchor plane. Hmm. Sushi restaurant, which you have to run at night. Oh run at night and you dive to catch fish through the day and died many times oh really is is it that hard that sounds pretty cool like where you, you run a restaurant but you go catch fish so is it because you gotta watch out for the oxygen is that right like where where's the date what what is the danger is it like sharks or something like that that might attack you or something Keep pressing that. What, what am I missing here? Oh, there's the tweezer. Did I see a zipper slider before? Shark can attack. Oh, you caught one? Oh, okay. It's all right. I'm like that as well. I'm oblivious to things. Takes me a while to notice something. Bad attention. <laughs> and, I, and my eyesight is just horrendous. Oh, bell. Loot anchor plane zipper slider. Zipper. Did I see a zipper slider before? Thing. This is hidden somewhere. Is, is it in here? Is it? Wait. What? That's a. Oh, dang it. I couldn't even tell. Uh. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the rest of the stuff is out here somewhere. I get you. Anchor and plane. Anchor and plane. Is it a a picture, a uh, etching of a anchor. Did I see a plane before? I'm gonna have to push my face closer to the screen. Anchor. 
I thought I saw an anchor before. Am I mistaken? I thought I did. Oh. I thought... It's staring me right in the face. That's awful. It's like I moved my mouse across and I didn't even realize that was the anchor. I kept thinking of the classic looking anchor. You know, the the one with the two hooks. Not that... More... Well, I guess that's a more common, realistic one. I don't know. Now I'm going to find a plane. Plane. Did I miss it? Plane, 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 where are you? All right, we're hinting it up. Nope. Where is it? What? Oh. What? I was thinking of a aircraft. Oh man, I'm so silly. Dude, oh. I feel very silly. <laughs> It's that sort of plane, okay. Yeah, I think that's what the tricky thing is about this game. Oh, oh weird. Oh, look, a m mouse? Mouse figurine. Uh, right, okay. Just don't know what it's used for. Excuse me. A mouse figurine. Chisel? What was... Is there something we could use the chisel on? I've forgotten now. This is... This is definitely one of those, right? Okay. No, I thought it would be different shape items. Chisel. Chisel. Was there something... Could use the chisel. <laughs> oh, this? Yes. Bash that lock open. Dang, they put a whole bunch of monks in there. That's messed up. Too deep. If I jump down, we'll be able to climb out. Don't worry, we've got ropes. Oh. I know those symbols, they mean fire and death. Let's 
stone disc. Oh, and that sphere. These poor monks. Messed up. Alright. Let's do this. Right. I'm sure there's a reason the rays of light are pointing to that particular spot. Hmm. What would... What? No, we shouldn't be doing that. Stone disc. What would you use that for? What's up with the... That lot looks like an elephant. Well, yeah, but... What was supposed to put... drag a ring to rotate it. Here we go. And on one of these. That it? Nope. Wait, wait, wait. There's a bit more, isn't there? I just jumped ahead anyway. Uh, oh, hang on. Wait, what? We good? Nope. What? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Well, oh. Oh, okay. This one's trickier, isn't it? To get them all to match up. Now we're going to match up rings. There we go. Sweet. All right. Oh. Sweet. Thanks. GG. What? Sorry guys, it's a bit loud. That is super loud. Oh, here we go. 
horse and rider lit torch. But, uh oh. Connection getting messy again. Oh yeah, grab it. Is there like a bundle? Is it cheaper on a bundle? But yeah, try the first game. That's that's super cheap. I think you'll like it. If if you like what uh I've played in the third game, I think you'll like the first one. I think the first one's pretty good. I think I'm playing the third one, yeah. Spider in a jar. Can't grab that yet, can we? I should place that spider in a jar. Damn, my connection's gone wild again. <gasps> it's so annoying. The horse doesn't have a rider. He needs one. Yeah, go for it. That is, um, that is quite a bargain. Here we go. Next, we need a camel, uh, dynamite, um, I don't know how long my connection is going to hold. Yeah, exactly. No, that's a good point. Keep the spider, but kill the fish? What? What? Why couldn't we have, you know, the jar for the fish? Like, say, you go there. Oh, no, the fish is dying. You gotta find the jar, right? With water in it or something. Ah, oh, that's a, that's, that's bad. That is bad. Hmm. Yeah, get that lid torch. Binoculars. Is this game going to trick me and and use a word that I think it's one thing was actually something else? Crane. Seahorse. Seahorse. I have to always check my connection. Always. See, now it's... It's messing around with me. I've been looking at um some, like, holiday, festive, Christmassy hidden object games, but they don't look very worthwhile. I don't know which one of those have that uh, festive feeling to it. I'm not sure if it's worthwhile to get them. <laughs> There it is. Maple leaf. Log. Eyeglasses. Now for the hard stuff. Pouch. Seahorse. Pouch and seahorse. Everybody wham wham is a cozy fun Christmas game. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, that does look very cozy. 
Huh. Oh, I'll add that to the list. Oh, I wonder if Final Fantasy fourteen has a um event right now, festive event. Yeah, thanks for the suggestion, Sarah, for that one. Yeah, like, I think last time I played Final Fantasy XIV, they did have a Christmas um, or a holiday winter season festivity thing with the snowman. Wow, it's been a year since I, like, not since, but like when I started playing that game. More than a year, more than a year. Wow, I remember like yeah, the snow snowman and snow snowman and stuff like that. Wow, can't believe it. Yeah, they normally have some sort of um, holiday season type activity. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's been that long. Like the last time I played it was maybe June or July, I think. I got kind of burnt out by it because I was playing it non-stop, almost non-stop each day. Not like now. Now I mix it up with all kinds of different things, right? Like Spider-Man and Gotham Knight and hidden object games like this, a bit of um, farming game bit of city builder just mixing it up the last time i was just p playing purely final fantasy 14 well at one point just, just daily or nightly i was going from heaven's ward to um the next one oh no heaven's ward no no um it's playing realm reborn heaven's ward and then jumping straight into Stormblood or something. I haven't finished Stormblood yet. Yeah. But I think it got like really burnt out at some point. I was like, the story is good. The character is great. It just, it's a very cozy game when you're like hanging out with the characters and stuff like that. But there was so much stuff. There was so much. Just at some point, I just went, oh, I need to take some time. Plus, it's a subscription-based game, right? With subscription-based game, you kind of want to keep on top of it. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of wasteful. Well, for me, anyway, like, because you're paying money monthly. If I don't touch it, say, a couple weeks, it's kind of wasted. So I was like going hard at that game and then eventually was went, oh, I think that's the problem with subscription based games. You just like have to keep on top of it. Exactly. It just needs to be worth it. You gotta keep on top of it. Otherwise, um, you know, that money is just wasted. Yeah, as I was saying, like, that's, I think that's one of the problems with subscription-based games. It's like, it forces, well, for me, it forces me on it. Like, I can't break away from it, but what they don't realize is that a person can get burnt out, and they can't stick with one game. I, I can't, I can't stick with one game all the time. I need to, I need to branch out a bit. I get maybe an hour or two each day or night to play it weekends you know i do play a bit of it but like after work normally in the weekends i tend to just sleep a lot because i'm just 
really tired. What is that? I think games like this just lets me talk a bit more. It slows things down. You could sort of do that with um, farming games as well. If you get your routine down and you know what you're doing with farming games. But I think farming games have a timer in it and that's... It can be tricky if you don't have your routine down you don't know what you're doing next like me like i don't have a good plan going i want to get back to sims sims wait sims three no wait four i don't want to get back to the building side of it because i spend too much time doing building side of it and i just go oh that's it. I want to get back to some of the story part. Yeah, Sims. Yeah. I want to get, like, play play the story stuff. Play the vampire, the paranormal things. The This is so cozy. You got the fireplace going, right? This is perfect. You play a lot of Sims. Are you playing the story or the building stuff? Or the decoration, indoor decoration stuff? I, I want to get into the story. But I hear people saying that, you know, the latest sim don't really have much in a way of story and, and things like that. You do a bit of, of it all? Okay, cool. Oh, you like the building? Building's pretty good, but I think after a while, I want, I want like, some sort of interaction with the characters. Where's this freaking pouch and seahorse? <laughs> pouch and seahorse. Whereabouts is that? Seahorse. I bet you it's like a carving or something. Ah, oh, it's, it's a part of the tile. Look how tricky that is. Yeah, building's pretty fun. But I think for me to continue playing it, I, I want to be... I want to... I'm not, I don't think I'm a very, I'm, I'm not a good builder. I mean, like, I have a list of things that goes from moderate, I'm moderately okay to bad, to very bad, to awful. Building takes a certain creativity. Um, I, I like the idea of building, but I, I don't think I'm like all that good with it at all. <laughs> Werewolves pack mainly for the cute furniture. I haven't seen the the furniture for it. I want to check it out. There's the I think we talked about this before. The um the what is it? I think it was one of the YouTubers, she designed it. Pastel, pastel stuff. But I haven't seen, I've seen the pastel decorations. They look really nice, but I haven't seen the werewolf stuff. Yeah, that's it, Plum, Plumbella. Yeah. I think she contributed like a couple of the packs or something, right? Yeah. The packs, they look really good. I wonder why the other uh, YouTubers... I don't think I've heard the other YouTubers contributing it, though. There's a couple of them, like top Sims 4 tubers. It's just, I think it's only Plumbella, right? They even had a, a Sims um, reality show. With, with the YouTubers in it. But I think it got canned, right? I never saw it. They were advertising at one point. I think it... It was meant to come out... Just as... As, as the uh, pandemic hit or something. Yeah, I saw quite a few of the ads. I don't know what happened to it. It's just... 
was it supposed to stream or something or be on YouTube or something like that, but got completely canned or something. Oh, there it is. There's a pouch. All that for a pouch. That's interesting. Okay. The globe is missing on continent. All right. <laughs> you think that the clock would be part of the puzzle? Because normally in games like this, clocks are, all, are, are the puzzle. <laughs> Just like Nancy Drew. Yeah, I'm curious about Sims 5 as well. They're teasing that big time. I'm very curious. I hope they put more like story lore stuff into it. Not just building things. Like some character interactions. Oh, I have the Strangerville. Strangerville? Strangerville DLC. I've got that one. I've got the vampire one. There's that... um, Like indoor or outdoor backyard camping kit one as well, I think. Multiplayer parts in it too. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's the trap. Hold up. There we go. We can get we can use that at the other place. Other half of the shoe will probably open the case which contains the knight sword. Right. Let me grab that. Oh. What was that? Something clicked. Oh, creepy. Pickaxe. Why would a pickaxe be hidden in a hidden uh, compartment area? What? How dangerous is that? This is in someone's lounging area, a trap that actually activates. Dangerous. One of the handles missing. Fair enough. All right, what do we have? See, it wasn't that. Uh oh. Arrange the chimes so they play the correct melody. Pull the red cord to see if you're correct. Yellow means the treble clef is close to where it belongs. Green means the treble clef is where it belongs. What? No. No. Okay, they're all red. What? I'm the worst when it comes to musical things. Oh, it's getting close. This would be green, right? That one's right. Let's hope it's not, not as complicated as I think it is. Oh no. Connections being lousy. Alright, it's not as bad as I think it would be. Like that. Nancy Drew Sudoku stuff. 
That was a nightmare. Because I'm bad with Stoku. You could actually skip this. But does it actually skip it? As in, like, you complete the puzzle? Or does it mean you have to come back to it later on? Nope. Wait, we're headed up there. Yep. Wait, we're not even close. Completes. Oh, there we go. It's a blue one. Before it was like an orange one. Oh, is this the spirit? Yeah, it is. Yo, my man, what's up? No, it's not very respectful. Hey, we can't talk to him, can we? Peace to you. You've come from the house of 1,000 doors, haven't you? Yes, I, I can have. tell. You are in my Sofoso now, which means you found the missing doorbell. It was hidden mm. inside the house. I gave it to Gabriel myself. That was so long ago, I can barely remember why I'm here. This is a place of sorrow and pain. I think Gabriel asked me to guard something, but I can't remember what it was. Perhaps a cup of tea with cherry tree petals will stir my memory. We know where to get that, uh... Um, ch cherry tree thingy petals. Oh, that's a whole bunch of stuff I haven't read yet. Have I? No, we've read that. Goes who is he? Yes, this guy. What happened here? What strange power made the monks go crazy and spill each other's blood? Oh, they killed each other. I forgot about that, didn't I? Skeletons are everywhere. Their clothes are okay, but their bones are covered with ash as though they're burnt from within. I also found a scroll with the symbols for fire and death. Are they connected to fireballs in the house? I've forgotten about that. I think we read that last time. It's the freaking fireball. It's the orange fireballs. Killed them. The ghost knows about the house of a thousand doors. He knew I came here, uh, came from there the moment he saw me. He also knows Gabrielle, who asked the monk to keep something for him. I wonder what it was. I hope a cup of tea with cherry tree petals will stir his memory. Yep. And we got a way of grabbing those cherry tree petals. Petals. Cherry tree petals. Oh, I can't even pronounce anything properly anymore. Uh, here you go, buddy. What? Can't use the object here. Oh, sorry. We gotta put it in here. <laughs> Don't just give it to him. Uh, what? Now I need hot water for the tea. I'll take your chopsticks, thank you very much. I might need it for later on. Uh, we need... We need to boil some water. There we go. I got just a thing. Neat wood, okay. Neat wood. We'll grab that ram figurine. You don't need that anymore, do you? This. It started when the strangers visited our town. They asked for shelter for the night. They were carrying a chest. Uh, one of the strangers said held a fire gem. Those words spoken during the evening meal destroyed many lives. Little Lee waited until everyone fell asleep. Then he stole the key to the chest and opened it. In a blink of an eye, the air was filled with fireballs. They were tearing through the monks, burning them from the inside out and turning the holy men into demons with fiery eyes everyone panicked and the slaughter began no one survived no you try to tell me the kid oh no this is horrific cleaner 
This got messed up. Sounds like, um... Yeah, it sounds terrible. What is this? Place all the disc on the rod on the right. You can place a disc only on a bigger disc. Excuse me? You can place a disc only on a bigger disc. Oh, I see. Nope, I don't see. Wait, wait, I see. Wait, no, I don't see. You like puzzles like this? Wait. We go done. Yep. Probably. I don't mind these too much. If, if it had like a lot more wheels, I think like the ones in, um, again, going back to Nancy Drew, there was something like this as well with gears. I don't, I don't know if you remember that one. That was intense. <laughs> That one was a lot harder. Oh, sorry. That was an accident. That was an accident, sir. I just wanted this rooster figurine for some reason. Mm hmm. No, we don't need that. We don't have anything here anymore. I'm surprised it let me come back. Interesting. Uh, so we need to... They do have like really cozy music for games like this, well generally. You have to if you're spending hours looking at it. What are we doing? Nope. Wait, can we actually burn the chopsticks? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Isn't the chopsticks wood? I guess we need it for something else. Yeah, cute red panda. It's really adorable. Uh, what? Mm. Pickaxe, pickaxe. We don't have to go back to certain places. No? Pickaxe. Was there something? Pickaxe. What are these figurines for? Cleaner chopsticks. It's quite a few figurines, right? It's not this. Did I mention I picked up the first game? I, I did, didn't I? The first game too. So if I finish this, I'll play a different uh, hidden object game before I go to the prequel to this. Just to just to break things up a bit, you know. Hold up. 
I'm gonna be right back. I think I'm kind of back. I'm kind of back. Every time I see the the stream go goes red, it freaks me out. It's doing it right now. Okay. Got a whole bunch of like figurines. We need we need wood. 
to burn things, to boil the kettle. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Wait, didn't we get a log? No, that was that was part of the hidden object stuff. Hmm. Wait, was there something here? I always have plans to play more uh, different games or finish off the ones that I started like a couple years ago. But I never get around to it. <laughs> It's awful. I start like brand new ones. And then I don't finish them. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think at the end of the day, if I'm having fun at the moment, I think that's what counts. Me too. Yeah, I think it's all right. I think at the end of the day, the main thing is, do you have fun with it at that moment? Or, you know, uh, some, some, uh, some level of enjoyment out of it. I think, I think that's the main thing. It's entertainment at the end of the day. We can't take it too seriously. I don't want to make it into a chore. Like, I, I, I don't want to be a person that have too detailed of a plan of <laughs> like stuff that is just for entertainment like for entertainment i don't, I don't want to plan it out too much if that makes sense I, i'm being repetitious now oh wait can we just grab that wood like can we no. Hmm. I read that already. Yeah, definitely. For sure we can go back to it. I've seen this already. Where are we going to get wood? We need an axe. I wonder what the in-game uh, explanation is for all the hidden object stuff. Are they just illusion that we have to decipher in order to, in order to uh, proceed? I don't know. What's the in-game lore for the for the objects? Oh, what? Oh, I can't believe it. Good grief. I don't really have a festive game to play. Like, um, Dinkum isn't really festive. <laughs> it's out in a hot place, like where I am. Well, not, I'm, well, I'm not exactly. I mean, I'm in a very hot environment at this time of the year. Doesn't give me that fest festive feeling. It's kind of weird. I, I still still think of festive feeling with snow and stuff like that, which we don't get here. I, I'm missing something. How? What is... What do we use pickaxe for? Cleaner? What's all the figurines and the chopsticks? Yeah, it's snow. Oh, nice. It's all gone now? Oh, uh, okay. It must be really cold where you are. Is it usually snowing a lot this time of the year for you? Or it's just sort of not a lot. It just goes away after a while. I don't get what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Negative one. Wow. 
We're on freaking 36 Celsius. 36 something average. Even at 30, 32, 33, it's hot. Normally snows? Oh, okay. Wow. I like some of that cool weather. I'll trade you for some of the warm weather here. Kettle. Cup. Hang on, hang on. Cup of water. Oh, I see. That sounds refreshing. Yeah, it is flipping hot. <laughs> it's like, even in the morning, eight something, when you open the window, it's just, it feels like oven heat. I mean, I, I prefer dry heat. I, I like the dry, I prefer the dry heat over the humid, humid heat. But if you, if, you know, I'm, I much prefer cooler weather though. Gets to 20, you get too warm, like 24. What's the hottest summer you've got? 24 is like our aut autumn or spring. Or late, or even late winter. Well, not quite late winter. Like our winter, the coldest we get is during daytime. Middle of the day, 18 or something, 17. Maybe 15. Like nothing compared to you guys, <laughs> what you get for your winter. <laughs> That's like our winter. I think I've mentioned this before, is your autumn. <laughs> your early autumn. Matches, hair comb, mask, apple. You can get an apple. <laughs> right? Pencil. Oh, that's the apple. Coin. Oh. Matches. Pencil. Again. Last time it was pen. It was like in the corner thing. Trying to trick me, eh? Trying to trick me. Did we see an elephant there? Wait. Oh, I did drop some frame before. Fish. Again with a fish. This one is a dead fish. Pineapple, there we go. Oh, I would love some pineapple right now. Some refreshing, sweet, little bit sour pineapple. Oh, that'd be so good. All right. Oh, it was so nice. It's nighttime now. I've got the aircon on in, in this computer room. But wow, I would love some, some pineapple. Some lemon and honey uh, cold drinks. Tea, perhaps cold tea. Necklace. The heck coin is in there. All right. Cucumber. Firewood necklace, mask, banana. There's mask. I see the banana. An owl? A-W-L? Oh, yikes. I don't know if I can live without aircon. 
I have heard, right, yeah, um, European and uh, England places over there, they don't have aircon. I know, I know um, this person I talked to in Europe, they don't have aircon in their offices, I think. No, like in their homes, sorry, in their homes. I'm like, wow, no way. I, it's just too hot. Way too hot. But then our houses here is kind of weird. They don't design it in a way that... Uh, that... Uh, that helps cool things down. It's so strange. I've heard like in Mediterranean places, their houses are designed properly for the, for the heat. Yeah, I definitely need aircon. <laughs> but you guys have the, he the heaters, of course, right? Because it's so cold. To keep the heat in, yeah. Yeah, because your winters are freezing, right? That's probably why. Are your summers long? Like, our summers are... Like, the hot summer just stretches for months on end. Our winters, our cold winters are very short. Like, the coldest period is within two or three weeks. And then it sort of warms up, cold, cools down a bit, warms up, and it rains. But not like freezing freezing well not for me anyway for other people a little bit of rain it's like oh no it's cold it's not that cold i mean in the office it does get quite cold because i sit under the aircon and it's not adjusted properly but i just put on my coat put on a jumper put on a, a you know um yeah a sweater i'm fine i'm fine i rather that than, than hot. Sit in the office being hot. I remember that when our aircon broke down in the office. Yikes. I don't know why I'm compl I shouldn't be complaining. There are people that are working under the sun. Blistering hot air. Uh, depends really in the summers. A mix of rain and heat waves. Oh, okay. Yikes. So it does get a bit humid then. Firewood. The heck's the firewood? What is that? Oh, that's a rifle. I think. Oh, there it is. I think once we get this firewood, we can use that. Cucumber. Humid. Dang. Yeah, I don't really like humidity. Surely you guys can get like some sort of portable aircon, right? That you can connect to the window. Oh no. Connection's broken again. I feel like it's about to break. Once it breaks, you won't be able to see or hear from me on my stream. Yeah, it's uh, it's doing weird things. They're quite expensive. Oh, okay. Dang. Yeah, I imagine that would be. As for mine, I've got one in my bedroom. And I had to pay about... I don't know. I don't know how much it would be in Euro dollars. Maybe 600 Euro if I were to convert it like that. It includes installation. 500, 600 euros, if I were to convert it. Now, what? Cucumber. Cucumber. Yeah, I like some watermelon as well. That would be nice. Dang, I want some nice sweet watermelon, some pineapple. F 
food is getting really expensive here. Because um, we source our food and stuff like that from a region that had, I think, flash flooding or some sort of problem. The problem is transporting the, the produce to us. Yeah. There's been some problems over over time, like flooding and things like that, because um, the farms are at the certain region where, when they have floodings, it causes well, it causes problems. Yeah, I don't know about now though. I'm gonna check again, but ah, there's some lemon. What's a aw? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> A W L. Oh, it's like a it's like a pick. Okay. Can we see one of those? Oh, it's not that. Oh, there it is. Just got the cucumber left. Cucumber, cucumber. Sorry, I'm like yawning already. Yeah, it's kind of hard to ration um, fresh produce. <laughs> Unfortunately, like fruits and vegetables. I mean, we could get frozen vegetables, like frozen, frozen, certain frozen vegetables are terrible though. Like broccoli, ugh. But spinach is not bad. You can get, but they're hard to find now as well. Fruits, also difficult. Apples are so expensive. Like nice apples as well. Yeah, they don't. It's gross. Like broccolis, frozen broccolis. Ugh. But I suppose, you know, if there's not there's not enough fresh fresh ones, you're gonna have to deal with the frozen stuff. You can get frozen berries, but again, yeah, not as nice, but don't really have a choice. Yeah, everything's expensive. Cucumber, where the heck is this cucumber? Oh, there it is. Far out, right there. There we go, we got a firewood. Took me, took me a while, but well, we got there in the end. Uh, there we go. I thought I lost the matches. It's not easy to light firewood. I need something that quickly catches fire. Oh, paper, right? Didn't we see some... Oh, we can't grab that one? Nope, I don't want to see that sad story. That sandalwood smells wonderful. GG, thanks. We need something to set it on fire. Is this thing... No. I thought that was like, um, highly flammable liquid. We got plenty of things here that can... I'm surprised we can't pick this up. I guess the fluid makes it... Unusable. Oh, dang, I didn't know about that. All right. What is this? What? 
What is that for? Oh, that's not head thingy. <laughs> what? Quite a few things. Oh, you can't even close that one. It's the light bulb. Or we call it globe. Frying pan. Sock. Palm branch. Did we see that? Dot. Shovel. A moon. Tobacco pipe. Wait. What is that? It's the pipe bracelet. Oh, there's that palm branch. Uh, moon. Dragon head. There we go. Moon. Screwdriver, moon. Oh, there we go. Let's paint it blue. Oven mitt. Hmm. There we go. A what? I should be able to see a rest. Oh, okay. We use that. A crane. I need one for the moon. Wait, bracelet. Is bracelet in here? Oh, there it is. Oops. Pumpkin? Man, I'm so tired. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. Oh, there's the moon. Pumpkin. This is a gold bar. It's just sitting right there. Pumpkin? Oh. Okay. Oh. Far out. Hidden behind this thing. Dragon head. Thanks. Still can't use this, can we?
What was that? Hmm. So, we got these. Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's for that other door. I've completely forgotten about that. To remove the bars, put each dragon head in a specific position. The positions are visible elsewhere. What? Put each dragon head in a specific position. This, the positions are visible elsewhere. Oh no. Oh, it's one of these. There we go. Done. <laughs> I'm glad it's fairly straightforward. Question mark? I'm writing this to my descendants. Dark times will come. Chaos will rule the earth. And demons will have dominion over everyone. But never lose faith that good and justice will prevail. There is a way to defeat the army of chaos along with its cursed fire gem and restore peace. The one who brave enough who's brave enough to defy chaos must collect four magic skulls and build an organ out of Jericho's pipes. Oh, let's talk about chaos. Are we talking about strangers of paradise? Strangers in paradise? Uh Final Fantasy Origins, that game, which I also am somewhat interested in. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos. Ah, we got a perfect thing to remove that. Fix it right up. Oh. These masks look like the faces of statues across a, a hole from this window. I should remember the order in which they're etched into the wood. I mean, you've written it here. More figurines. Hold up. Across the hole from this window. Ah. Oh, these guys. Clean the heads so you set the correct position. You have to set. You have seen the order elsewhere. So we got smiley, sad guy, and surprise guy. Oh, wait. Hang on. Is this sad guy? There we go. Surprise guy. Wait. Puzzle piece. All right. Oh dear. One of these. Our very favorite sliding puzzles. Some of the image of swiping its parts. Lovely. Where do I even begin? <laughs> Yay. Wait, if it's darkened, does that mean it's correct? Yeah, it does mean it's correct. Wow, this is more forgiving than um Nancy Drew, I gotta say. And I welcome that. <laughs> Oh, I am playing on easy mode as well. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I had some good memories with Nancy Drew. Oh, yeah. And it's the first time you saw me play the game. First time you visited my, uh, my channel as well. So there you go. Good memories. Hmm. 
<laughs> slightly traumatized, right? It's just slightly, slightly. It was, it was a good experience. I like the characters, the story in it. The characters were quite colorful. Um, oops, that's not where it's supposed to be going. This. But yeah, it's cool. I think like for that game, I'm just not. Um, yeah, this is very forgiving in comparison. <laughs> so forgiving. Which I welcome wholeheartedly. Oh, those are meant to be in the corners. <laughs> nope. forgiving oh sorry <laughs> we just like tap tap the dude in the back oh uh, excuse me oh okay <laughs> oh this is where the animals go okay all right that for the horse uh chicken oh this is the chinese zodiac oh we're missing the pig and i don't know what that is the dragon Huh. That gong's made of copper. I need a gong stick in order to produce sound. Oh, everyone's died. I'm the only one who survived. It's time for me to leave this world, but I can't until I hide the artifact in a safe place. I should ask Buddha for help. Let him keep the secret along with the skull. Let me guess, it's in, in a Buddha statue or something? Hey. Yeah, it's a good way of describing the experience with uh, Nancy Drew. <laughs> it left quite a, a, a mark. Had quite an interesting experience from it. But slightly traumatized from it. <laughs> The thing that got it, that it has, is the mystery. It did it very, very well. Why can we still visit this? I thought we're done. That scares me. It feels like there's more to it. Uh, oh, we got hay. We can set things on fire now. Sweet. Why is that? Are we supposed to put this here? No. And then run back to that um, fireplace. Just run back here. Even though we got matches. Yeah. Mystery atmosphere. That's a good way of putting it. I mean, from the one, one Nancy Drew game that I played. It, it, they know how to 
how to do the um, those things quite well. Nice. You, oh, sorry. Here you go. Enjoy. <clears throat> ah, thank you. That's the best tea I've had in ages. Everything is coming back to me. Wait, hold up. How are you? When the fire spirit. came to the monastery and the slaughter started, I found a hiding place and stayed there for three days. When I came out, everyone was gone. Then the white man appeared out of nowhere. He gave me a crystal skull and asked me to guard it with my life. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place, so the dark forces that attacked your monastery will not return soon. Stay here and rest assured no one will come to look for the skull, he said. I held on to the artifact until I died. And the man was right. No one came. It's still here, which is why my spirit is not at peace. The skull is in a safe place. Please take the key. It will help you to find it. And now, I can finally go to my rest. There's a crystal skull thing now. And how was he drinking that tea? It Wasn't he a spirit? I'm confused. All right, we'll do this bit and then I gotta head to bed because it's like midnight. <laughs> I was fighting with my internet connection and Spider-Man villain. Villains. Oh. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Seashell. Sliced tomato. Tomato. Can we use this? Yikes, okay. <laughs> Acorn. Oh, that's a bell. I uh, recently watched Polar Express. I think that's what it's called. The one with the train. It's all CGI. I don't remember watching it fully. I might have seen it in bits and pieces. But I just recently watched it. It does have a strange... Like... Holiday festive... Not quite festive, but like a holiday season feel to it. Vibe to it. But at the same time, it feels like something is missing from that movie. It feels like something's been edited out. You used to love it? You don't like it anymore? Do you have like a, a favorite festive season shows or something to to watch? I used to watch quite a, quite a bit of those, that sort of thing like when I was a kid. Like a claymation thing with Santa Claus, some, I think, Peanuts, um, you know, Snoopy and stuff like that. There was something else as well. I think there's a couple of sad ones like um, the Matchstick, the match, Matchstick Girl or something. She's selling Matchstick and then, yeah, that's a very sad, that story. There's a few others as well, like Scrooge. Oh, I haven't watched for a long time. Okay. Yeah, like, I watched it recently, the Polar Express one. I'm thinking... It feels like something's been edited out, or... Maybe they ran out of budget. Because <laughs> they reached a town. Um, Santa, you know, puts together... Well, has his team of elves to put together all the toys and things like that. I'm like... Something, something feels like it's missing. <laughs> But yeah, it, it has a strange 
like part of the vibe it's it does feel good i don't even know how to explain it it's it's strange Seashell, binoculars, bonsai tree, acorn. There's an acorn. Cat loss, losses bow. Grinch is always your favorite festive film. Oh yeah, I've forgotten about Grinch. That never hit, that never got me. For some reason, like, I never connected with the Grinch. I don't know why. I should try watching it again. There's a bunch of other ones. Like, some people... Was it Elf? It's called Elf? The one with Will Ferrell. I never got into that one either for some reason. Oh, I think Home Alone. Like, the first Home Alone. <laughs> Because I grew up on that stuff. Because I'm I'm an oldie. <laughs> that uh, Home Alone has that Christmas vibe to it. Never liked Elf. Yeah, I never got into it. I don't know why. But yeah, it's not my thing either. Mushrooms. Did I see mushrooms? Oh, there's a bonsai tree. But yeah, I think the first Home Alone... So it was pretty good. I think I might like look look out for some uh, Christmassy type thing on Netflix. But a lot of the Netflix is it Netflix or Prime? I think Prime has a lot of the more romance stuff, romance Christmas, and they all look very identical. <laughs> The holiday? Okay, I don't remember that one. Oh, there's a bow right here. There we go. Skull, got that. Gold brick, got that. Mushrooms, binoculars. The binoculars. Seashell, there we go. Flower. It's romance. It's cozy. Okay. I don't remember that. Is that on Prime or Netflix? There might be a few Disney Christmas vibe, holiday vibe stuff as well. Mushroom. Wait, what? Basket. Did I see a tambourine? Oh, what? Wait, hold up. Four handle. Meadow. Oh, yeah, they're right here. Miss that. It's on Prime? Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks for checking. Appreciate it. Mushroom. Is that mushroom? Oh, basket. Tambourine. The heck's a mushroom? Oh, I think I saw it before. Wait. There it, there it is. I was thinking of different type of mushrooms. All right, door handle. Uh, I think I know where to take that to. What is this? Find the matching figurines. Oh no, this is one of those memory ones. Wait. 
I'm not going to remember this. Does it change? Oh no, I don't have the memory for this. I've got like a two set. These are not... There we go. Do they disappear if I mess up? Alright, it's very forgiving, which is good. Camel. Wait. Forgiving, which is good. I like that. Toad. Oh, that's an adorable. What is that? A lamb? Look at that guy. Camel. Right? That's adorable. Dang, I'm so glad this game doesn't punish me for my trial and error methods and poor memory. Hieroglyph. Uh, what do we do? Gong stick. I don't know what to do with that. Okay. That's in there. Use the gong stick. Oh, did I miss something? I hope not. Oh, no. Internet's gone nuts again. Oh, this is where the artifact's hidden. It's like Buddha. Wait. Is Buddha meant to have that many arms? I thought that was a different belief. Oh, here we go. Do you need that one? Dang. All right. Wait, is there anything else? There we go. And that. I knew there was something. I'm making a lot of progress right now. Uh, but I need to go to bed. <laughs> Gabriel, my friend, this stone destroyed our brotherhood. Everyone want, went mad in an instant. I was the only survivor. I need your help. I'll be waiting for you. Send Zhao Chi, the, the third day of the month of Litsu, the 36th year of the Xin Dynasty. I found an incredible letter. Send Zhou Hu, the ghost I encountered, wrote it to Gabriel soon after they met. But how is that possible? The letter is several centuries old. So how old is Gabriel? Yeah.
Should I do this now? I said that I was going to do that last one. And that was my, la my last one before bed. Do I want to do this now? All right. You know what? We'll do it next time. Uh, can I save this? I think it's auto save. Does this just boot me out? No, it doesn't. Okay. That has been fun. Uh, internet was somehow somewhat behaving itself. All right, Sarah. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Hobo Mazai, if you just do that. Thank you, anyone that's lurking. Thank you, anyone that's watching this on the archives. I hope you all have a good day or night. Take care, stay safe, and see you all next time. Thank you, Sarah. No worries. Appreciate you hanging out, having a chat. Um, yeah, you take care, stay safe, stay warm. Um, yeah. I don't see you guys, uh before the holidays happy holidays uh merry christmas um yeah take care see you all later bye